path tracing versus ray tracing. Two cutting-edge rendering techniques often mentioned in the world of 3D and Unreal Engine. But what's the difference? And which one should you use? Let's start with ray tracing. At its core, ray tracing is a rendering technique that simulates how light interacts with surfaces to produce realistic visuals. It calculates reflections, refractions, shadows, and global illumination by tracing individual rays of light from the camera into the scene. In Unreal Engine, ray tracing is often used in real-time applications like games or interactive experiences where performance is critical. It offers a balance between visual fidelity and real-time rendering performance. However, ray tracing can be limited by hardware capabilities, so you'll need a powerful GPU to get the most out of it. Path tracing, on the other hand, is like ray tracing, but on steroids. Instead of tracing individual rays, path tracing follows many rays that bounce around a scene, interacting with surfaces until they reach a light source. But here's the catch. Path tracing is computationally expensive. It's mostly used for offline rendering. Think movies, VFX, or pre-rendered cinematics. It's not designed for real-time applications, though advancements in GPUs are starting to change that. So what sets these two apart? Ray tracing, real-time, faster, good for games and interactive applications. Path tracing, offline, slower, perfect for photorealism and high-quality renders. If you're working on a game or a real-time project, ray tracing is the way to go. For high-quality cinematics or portfolio pieces, path tracing will give you that extra level of realism.